Brightest blessings, everyone. Um, I'm doing a response video for a YouTube user by the name of Priest Christopher. Uh, he actually did a video um, talking about apologizing, you know, thinking on the past mistakes, you know, that he's made with other pagans and Satanists. And I was going to leave a uh, text comment, but, you know, I got a bit more to say than that. You know, I'm kind of a big mouth. Um, <laughs> oh, pardon the hair. I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to brush my hair this morning. Uh, it's my weekend. Uh, it's going to be my f last break in a good long time, so fucking deal with it. <laughs> That's all I can say. Just fucking deal with it. Uh, in the meantime, Chris, 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 what are you doing? Seriously. Have you ever heard of the saying, you can please some of the people some of the time, but you can never please all of the people all the time? I, I, I think you need to take this into consideration. Dude, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. I don't know exactly what the situation is that you're talking about. And maybe I'm just an ignorant ass, and I'm showing my ignorance here, but... If you're just speaking in general and not about a specific situation, why are you apologizing? There's no reason for you to apologize. Um, you know, look, anytime anyone is on any type of a path, a religious path or a spiritual path, uh, where they actually put some effort and thought into it, other than, I'm a Christian because that's what mommy and daddy raised me to be, or I'm a Muslim or a Jew or a Hindu or whatever and the fuck you are, because that's what mommy and daddy raised me to be, and that's all I know, and right is right, and I'm just along for the ride. And it, if you are not like this, sooner or later you're going to be changing your views. It's almost a guarantee that my views now, uh, you know, are going to be different. And the way I think, the way I handle myself, my in general, is going to be different 10 years down the road, 5 years down the road, 20 years down the road. You know, I may be more calm. I may be more blatant. I may be more of a bitch. I may be more demure. For whatever reason. Because our studies, our experiences, life in general, changes us. Again, another saying. There's only two guarantees in life. Death and taxes. And then there's no guarantees. Oh, excuse me. Three guarantees in life. Death, taxes, and change. Stupid. <laughs> you know? You're going to die. You're going to pay taxes. And you're going to change. Whether you like change or not, you're going to change. So, <laughs> of course you've offended people. Anything that comes out of your mouth is going to end up offending somebody. Sometimes they just need to pull up their big boy pants and get over it. Sometimes not. Whatever. Don't don't apologize. You know, I've changed my thoughts and my beliefs and just many things about me in general, personally, since the first time I've ever seen you on screen. And I think I've changed a lot. Does that mean that i got to go back and apologize for everything that I've done? I've offended people before I've ever known you. I've offended people when i first known you. And I continue to offend people today. Am I sorry for any of that? No. Anything that I've done, learned, went through has, oh, has been a stepping, lot, a stepping stone for my next evolution in life. So even if I went through a really shitty period in my life, I don't apologize for it. It made me who I am. 
It is continuing to make me who I will be. Don't apologize, dude. Does that make me a bad person that I'm not apologizing because I offended people? I don't think so. You might. But I don't. I mean, not like I've never apologized to someone before. But I think I put enough thought into my actions before I actually do them to where I really don't have a lot to apologize for. Um, that's just my opinion. You're never going to make everybody happy. You're always going to be offending somebody. And I don't know what you're trying to trying to do. If, if your goal in life is to, at one point in time, never offend anybody, first of all, I don't even think that's possible. And second of all, <laughs> you're never going to live a life. You might as well just stay in your home and never leave it. You know, a famous person, or not famous person, but a wise person once said, if you're not making any enemies, you're not doing anything worthwhile. Just like they said, you know, well-behaved women rarely make history. It's along the same lines. Priest Christopher. Chris. Stop it. No need to apologize. I love you, dude, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> Blessed be.